As we start to look at interface, or excuse me, outside of interphase, and we go into mitotic division, let's quickly review what a chromosome looks like. Some organisms have two of these, some organisms have more than two. When the chromosome is doubled and we're at this stage and we have our centromere with its kinetochore, we officially call this a doubled chromosome, if you will, but even more importantly, I want to refer to each side of this chromosome as a chromatid, okay? Don't get the vocabulary confused. Remember, when it, before it was a chromosome, it was chromatin. Chromatin doubled to give you chromosomes. But we have to refer to each side of these as something, so we're going to call each of these a chromatid, and in fact, they are going to be called sister chromatids. That just makes the explanation and the, and the understanding that much easier because now we can refer to them as something. And as you know, these are eventually gonna split and graduate and become chromosomes, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, let's talk mitosis. Mitosis is gonna be divided into literally four phases, five phases. Let's, let's list the phases, the five phases. First of all, we've already talked about interphase and that's not officially a phase of cell division. But we're gonna go into something called prophase, prometaphase, and you know, it really becomes a question of what decade are you learning this in? Because uh, you, we used to take prophase and divide it up into early, middle, and late prophase and then go right into this next phase called metaphase. And there's a reason I'm stressing this to you. There is no such thing as phases in the sense that, okay, time to stop one and move on to the other. This is a dynamic, continuous, very gradual process, but once again, for the sake of discussion and, and, and publication and, and communication, we have to call these things something. So when I say a metaphase chromosome to you, you got something pictured in your head, as opposed to a prophase chromosome. So we need, we need to have these words. After metaphase, we're gonna leave metaphase and go into anaphase, and then our last phase will be telophase at the end. So, so what we have, therefore, is, is this division of, of time. It's a division over time that we're going to look at this. Okay, so let's go through it a phase at a time. Let's take a look at the vocabulary, but most importantly, what do we want? We want to see the events. All right. First of all, what happened in interphase? Interphase GS1, G2, the cell got ready for this, and here's the thing. Early in interphase, the only thing, well, everything is important, but the one thing that's going to affect us is that area called the centrosome. In interphase, you guys recall that there is a structure in cells called the centrosome. And in animal cells within the centrosome are these structures called centrioles. In early in interphase, the centrosome region doubles. So you get two of them. Okay, and indeed, in animals, the centrioles also double. The centrioles are kind of a puzzle for us. You know, the, the, if you remove them, like if you laser beam them, mitosis just works fine. So, so, so you know, this, and plants don't even have centrioles. So they're certainly associated with the centrosome, but the centrosome is the business end of what's gonna happen in mitosis. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, right here we have what typically I'm going to refer to as an interphase cell. Let's review some cell plumbing here, if you will. Alrighty, so we got the centrosomes and centrioles. All right, let's move this up a wee bit and take a look at some other parts. Okay, remember the nucleus, and you know that you have within the nucleus chromatin, which has not as we enter mitosis, it's doubled, but has not necessarily started its supercoiling. We have the cell membrane, which I'll call CM, okay? We have the nuclear envelope, which I'll call NE, for lack of space and time. And we have this structure right up here called the nucleolus, which I'm gonna, I wanna write that down for you in case you don't remember that name, nucleolus. And if you're from another part of the country, it's the nucleolus, but you got it. All right, let's take a look at what happens as we move from interphase to prophase, okay? As we move from interphase to prophase, you notice that what begins to occur here is the centrosomes are starting to separate. 
okay? They're starting to move, and, and, and it looks like they're starting to grow some fibers out of them. And in fact, we call those asters, aster as in star, okay? So we have the beginning of asters, and we will see in just a bit that the asters are literally microtubules that are going to make up, well, we'll give you names in a minute, but they're microtubules, suffice it to say. Look what's happening to our chromatin. You're, it's already looking, starting to look like that chromosome I showed you a second ago with its, with, its in the, with its centromere in the center. So what we have here, therefore, is right here, these two lines are denoting sister chromatids. And, of course, we have a doubled chromosome. All right, that's nice. But what does this really look like in a cell? Well, let's take a look at a cell. I can get this paper off here. There we go. All right, let's take a look at a cell. Here is a typical animal cell in interphase. Okay, you can see the centrosome, you can see the nucleus, you can see the dark staining chromatin, and you know, as I look at this, if I'm looking at it through a microscope, I'm saying, wow, it looks like it maybe has started to enter prophase, because I'm starting to see not the chromatin stained as an amorphous blob, but it's starting to look like the chromatin is starting to supercoil and perhaps form chromosomes. And so we start to get into prophase where the chromosomes begin to form. And look at this, you guys, look at this. We've got, we, we have the, the, the spindle, uh, sorry, the centrosomes have started to come across and they've started to migrate. And in fact, this is well advanced. And the, the asters are radiating out. So this is prophase as we begin to enter the next phase, which is going to be prometaphase and eventually into metaphase.